Hey guys, today we're gonna go over the exotic sword quest line. So basically, this is how to get an exotic sword. I'll say this up front since people probably want to know, the exotic sword does not replace your legendary sword. You get to keep your legendary version. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have completed the main storyline, so that's finishing Regicide and all that. Next, you need to go do the story mission Dread Patrol, just go get that done. When you've completed that, you should get the quest A Broken Will from Eris. She'll then send you to Lord Shax, just a few feet away. He will tell you to go get 25 Hadium Flakes from the Dreadnought, and then purify them with Motes of Light. You'll also need 25 Planetary Materials depending on which sword you want, Arc, Solar, or Void, and note that whatever element you choose here will be the element of the exotic version of the sword. So if you choose solar now, your exotic is going to be solar. Turn that in and you will have your 220 sword. The next requirement is hidden. You need to level up your sword to 280 attack before you can trigger the next part of the quest chain. When you do that, go talk to Shax. The first quest he'll give you is to go kill 50 majors and 25 players in the Crucible. The only advice I have for the Crucible part is to get familiar with the guard function. It is your best friend. And yes, they have to be sword kills. None of this kills while a sword is equipped nonsense like with the chaperone quest. As for the majors, you can go kill the hive majors in the Cosmodrome if you want, that works just fine. You could do something like the Undying Mind Strike, which has a lot of majors, whatever you want to do. Once you've done that, come back to Shax and he'll give you a quest to go kill Ekthar, Sword of Oryx. To do this, first go to the Dreadnought, then head to the Founts like you're doing the Sunless Cell Strike. Drop down into the lower level, hook a right, and then another right to enter this big room. In this room, next to the big door, will be three Wardens, one of each element. These three Wardens need to die very quickly within a certain time span of each other, 10-15 seconds, probably 10 seconds. All I know is that it's very, very quick. Sunbreaker Titans have it pretty easy here. Get all of them to very low health, then kill them all very, very quickly. If you do it fast enough, the door will open. If you're too slow, go to orbit and try it again. Head inside to fight Ekthar. His shield can only be damaged by your sword, so have fun with that fight. Once his shield is off, you can use whatever damage you want, but let's be honest, it's going to be way more fun having a sword battle with this guy than anything else. Anyway, once you are done with that, head back to Shax, turn that in, and he should give you a new quest called a Sword Reforged. You'll talk to Shax, and then he'll tell you to go gather 10 of a rare material and to brush up on your elemental kills depending on which sword you grabbed. I had Void, so I went to Mars for my materials, and I needed Void ability kills. You need a lot of ability kills, so just stick with that subclass for a while. It's going to be a pretty slow process. As for the rare materials, I was getting one every 15 or so nodes. It's going to take you a solid chunk of time to do this part, pretty time consuming. You have to go farm those material nodes. You cannot just dismantle any materials you have on you or anything like that. I never got any materials out of chests. It might be possible, but I'm not too hopeful about that. After that is done, you will have to wait for Arms Day, aka the Wednesday Reset. The quest will automatically pop up on your screen as soon as your Arms Day packages go live, so don't worry about that. The final part of the quest is to go do a special edition of the Sunless Cell, where you need to go kill your respective Warden and a Lock Hull within 30 seconds of each other. So no, this does not mean you only have 30 seconds to kill them total. You need to kill your Warden first, then a lock. If you kill a lock first, that's no good. Your Warden will correspond with the type of sword that you are getting. So if you're getting a Void Sword, then you're killing the Void Shield guy. Also important to note that this is a light level 300 recommended activity. So those with gear not as good as light 300 may find it slightly more difficult. This took myself and my group about 7 minutes to do just because we wanted to be absolutely sure that we would get it to happen correctly. If your fire team has multiple quests to complete with different targets, say Arc and Solar, it is possible to do both at the same time. You're basically going to leave your Warden alive the whole time, get a Locke's health down really really low, 
blow up your warden and then kill the boss right away or within 30 seconds. A lot of jumping around, a lot of waiting, but ultimately not too hard. Once you complete that, you are done and are awarded your exotic sword. I leveled mine up with 15 motes of light and it might not even require that many, so it's pretty easy to level up. And, like I said, you get to keep your legendary sword as well, which I know is a very big worry for a lot of people because they liked using their sword, but they didn't think it was worth the exotic slot or wanted to use an exotic, so that's a very good piece of news. Let me tell you something, though. With the bonus abilities on these exotic swords, I can see why these are maybe worth the exotic slot in certain situations. I grabbed the Void one, and wow, this thing tears tears through stuff. It has a whirlwind attack, but the attack locks onto a target. However, it will still hit everything in the immediate area of that target as well, so it's super good for clustered up stuff. Even its single target damage is really good using the ability. Be aware that the special ability does cost 5 ammo to use though, so you will burn through ammo super quickly if you spam it. Man, is it fun though. It is super fun to use those bigger abilities. Is it going to be worth the exotic slot? Eh, maybe. I think there's a small chance that they end up being useful in some high-end PvE. Maybe not any of the King's Fall bosses, but, you know, situationally useful in some spots. Maybe. I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay roll here, but that is how you get your exotic sword. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.